Hello there, Bradley from BRAD TV here, and in this video I want to talk about my experience with the Samaritans and how it might help you. Now, this video might not resonate with people outside of the UK because the Samaritans is a charity in the UK that you phone up and you speak to an anonymous person, they have to keep what you say confidential, completely anonymously. I think there's a text service and an email service as well, it's absolutely fantastic. But if you're in the UK, and I say you're wondering, should I call the Samaritans? I think the answer to that is that if you're thinking of calling the Samaritans, you definitely should. If you're at a point where you're wondering, oh, I need to talk to someone, but I don't know who to talk to, you're already at a point where there's something playing on your mind. Whatever it is, whatever situation you're in, it could be absolutely dire, like my darkest times, or more than I could ever fathom, or you might just be lonely, confused, anxious, anything. If you're asking yourself, should I call the Samaritans? I think you should. I can just tell you about my experience, and maybe that'll shed some light on it and help you. There's nothing to feel weird or strange about. It's a phenomenal charity, and you phone them, you panic, nothing happens, you hang up. That's it. So as if there's no negative to it, there's absolutely no negative, so you might as well do it. My first time would have actually been, it would have been the very end, I think Christmas time, 2012. Now how mad is that? Christmas time, the end of December, and I was actually staying at my parents' house. Uh, I was with my mum and dad, and it's not like I have any sort of badness in my family. Yeah, it's not all sunshine and rainbows, I've been family arguments and whatever, but I've got lovely parents, I wouldn't change them for the world. But the first time I call the Samaritans, I'm wrapped up warm in a bed, being fed and looked after by my parents who love me. So don't think you've got to be on your own or you're really destitute or anything. I mean, that was the first time I called them. I was just in such a lost state and I didn't feel like I could talk to my parents. Simple as that. <laughs> and the first few times I did call them, I hung up. I phoned the number, I heard a voice at the end of the phone. I was probably crying at this point, probably not even able to talk, I was just panting for breath maybe, and I hung up. That must have been a couple of times. And the voice on the end of the phone just said, hello, like Samaritans, this is my name, I'm here to listen. I, I can't even remember anything specific, and every phone call's different. I was silent, they just said something, and it made me open up. And I, I gushed, I cried, I got to the point where my throat is so dry. That's happened on numerous phone calls to the Samaritans or just when I've been on my own completely distraught. There's no judgment there at all. And they're, they're patient as well. And there's no rush and there's no pressure with it. I don't want to say it was just a sounding board because there is a real person there that will interact with you and say things, although they're not going to give you direct advice and tell you to do things, even though it might get you thinking and you play your thoughts off each other and you do get some ideas but they're not going to give you answers and tell you what to do. It's just someone to listen. Anyway, let me say everything I was thinking about. And I had a human being there listening, working with me and sort of talking through what I was thinking about. And it was incredible. But then say, so, yeah, I phoned them when I was at my parents' house. I also phoned them when I was in London in a little box room, living for rent-free of my friend who said I could live rent-free while I look for a job and I wasn't looking for a job. And I was drinking and I was serious depression years ago now, but that was my serious dark time. And I was phoning the Samaritans then as well, crying, distraught, saying I'm a loser, I've failed, I got drunk, I did this. And they sort of just made me think about what I've done good and what I want to do with my life. And they got me looking to the future. And I was providing all the answers, pretty much, but they were prompting me. And again, it seemed patient, understanding, and just a good listener. But then not only the absolutely dire times, I phoned them this year many, many times in my darker patches I've had, even though I haven't been anywhere near as bad as I was in the past. But I phoned them on days where I haven't been crying, and I've had a job I love and I've got all my creative stuff and I'm going to the gym and I'm, I'm on paper, I look like I should be in a good place. But I've just needed to talk and clear the air. I didn't want to burden my friends and family who thought I'm doing so well. So just being able to speak to an impartial, anonymous party, like confidentially, it's freeing. And it's like, it's a weight's lifted off you. And so I'm, I'm phoned them as well this year when I've been doing sort of well. And I, for the first time I did that, I think I phoned up and said, I feel stupid because I'm not crying and I'm not 
as bad as I have been, and I'm not having counselling, and I'm not at the doctors, so I feel bad for phoning up. And they've said, don't ever feel bad for phoning up. If you've phoned us, that's really good. They didn't make me feel silly for phoning up when I'm doing well. But, so they've been there for me. The Samaritan's Charity has been there for me at every point of my life and battle with mental health and depression over the years. What a big sentence I had to say here on camera. But they've been there for me. They've had my back every way and I'm in no way ashamed to phone them. I'm in no way ashamed of promoting them or talking about it. Yeah, I love them. Uh, for every Samaritan's volunteer, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I don't know. I'm getting emotional, Christ. <laughs> I don't know where I would be, uh, my recovery from five years ago, whatever, and even this year, it's been so many parts, friends, family, me, <laughs> but the Samaritans have been a big part. Hopefully if you're in any doubt or if you're in a dark, trying situation and you're thinking of contacting the Samaritans, I say even if you're in another country, you can relate to any of this, it just means it's time to talk to someone. I mean, anyone. And the confidential thing is a real big part of it, but eventually that led to me discussing issues and feelings and emotions and whatever with friends and family, and that's where the real resolution and help can come from. But, I mean, just be strong and talk to those friends and family if you can't get to the Samaritans. Talking, unloading and sharing, that is step one. All my journeys, everything I've done... All the writing, even this is even before I set up the YouTube channel, so everything I've sort of achieved in the last five, six years of my young adult life, it started with talking and sharing, and the Samaritans were a big part of that. Right, enough rambling from me. Hopefully this has helped or just assuaged any sort of concern or doubt you are having. So if you think you should phone the Samaritans, if you're wondering what's going to happen, anything like that, I think you're at a point well, you should be contacting them. Go with it. Just don't say anything initially. Let them say the first word and then just say hello. Just say your name. Sometimes they say the name back and you'll just talk and it's unbelievable. Thank you for watching everyone and thank you Samaritans, all of you, whoever you are. Anyone, if you're in a tough time, contact them if you can. You've got this. Look after yourselves. You're still here. Don't give up. Take care everyone.